to Gaelic Storm. Yesterday we had a, a, a day of hell. The axle on the trailer cracked. We got stuck in Annapolis, and uh, it took a long time. It took 12 hours to get to Virginia Beach, and then today it took us nine hours to get back up here from Virginia Beach. We got here late, all right, and we're delighted to be here. The good, the good news is it's sunny, all right, and after two hellish days. We have a day off tomorrow. A nice leisurely 12 hour drive to upstate Maine. 
I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, we've earned this beer. God bless you. So how many people have seen Gaelic Storm before? How many of you? All right, so we're going to try and mix up the event, uh, the show. We're going to do some old songs and some new ones. Uh, this is a song that we recorded back in 1998. A different century and a different millennium. That's how old this song is, ladies and gentlemen. The song is all about cider, and the song is called Johnny Jump Up, okay? <laughs>
Come away, come away, the travel and show, come away, the raggle taggle you see your way, raggle taggle here, raggle taggle there, raggle up and down, taggle everywhere. From the north, from the south, from the east to the west, sky is your roof and the world is your best. No wanna say yes, no wanna say no, free to raggle taggle you see your They lock you in a tower and they're two in the key, and this tower's no match for a wag like me. I'm a little too late, they'll be kicking around the corner, but I've got to take a little, you say it in a warn you. Fiddle, let me sing a new song. Fiddle, sing, sing, fiddle all day long. Wars, no wars, do you hear say, say, whack for the diddle, 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 diddle. Way, way, way out to the water. Let your window, I would tap on the door We'd tippy, tippy, tappy, tippy, tappy, tappy on the floor We'd find silk pictures and a feather in my hat If I run into your mother, then I'd stop and have a chat Run into the garden, the winter and the blue Out in the trees, I hope you do Mice and the cats, spinners and the bats Let's around the kitchen like a bag of bag of bats Run away, run away at the traveling show Gypsy, oh, run away, run away at the traveling show Run away at the rumbling gypsy, oh Run away, run away at the traveling show Gypsy, oh, run away, run away at the traveling show Run away at the rumbling gypsy, oh Come on and wait sit back and relax, all right? So, how many people actually know the chorus of the song? How many of you? Make a noise. Okay, so it's about a quarter of you. So you guys will sing it, and then the rest of you just clap your hands, yeah? And if you don't know the words, and you can't clap your hands, because you're like this lady over here with the red solo, come, like, like this, and you're gonna... Just turn to the person next to you. And that way everybody's involved. Gaelic Storm, are you ready? Gaelic Storm, are you ready? Nice day, Steve. Nice day. Nice day, yeah. Come on, Gaelic Storm. Everybody together. Come on.
jump in and take my hand. Hey, boy, nice job. Thanks very much. Once I saw that red solo cup, I thought that's a great idea for a song. Just taken. Shucks. This next song uh, is about an Irish man, and uh, <gasps> and he made his millions in California during the gold rush. All right, but not from gold. He made his fortune. It was a terrible problem that the shipping companies had. When the ships came in from all over the world, the crews would abandon the ships, right? And head up to the Sierra Nevada mountains. And this Irish guy called Jimmy Kelly, he got paid to make sure that the crews never left San Francisco Harbor. So when the people came on the boat off the pier, he would go, lads, before you go up to the Sierra Nevada mountains, drinks are on Jimmy Kelly. Welcome to America. And he'd send him off to his pub, and there was a woman there called Mrs. Piggott. This is all true, by the way. And Mrs. Piggott would spite the liquor, right? And she would spite the liquor with laudanum, chloral hydrate, and opium. Right? Who's cheering for opium? So it was called a Mrs. Pickett special, and you'd have one of these drinks, and you'd pass out, and then Jimmy Kelly would wrap up the bodies and bring them back down to the ships and dump their bodies back on board. And he became a multi-millionaire by doing that. And when the guys woke up the following day, they were back on their way to China, and that's the expression, to get Shanghai'd. Yeah, he was an Irish man. America, you're welcome. So we wrote a song about Jimmy Kelly, and we were thinking to ourselves, how do we get all of that into one song? And particularly, how do we get laudanum, chloral, hydrate, and opium? Ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America, we got it into the first verse. Take that, Kanye West. What you got? Hits. Lots of them. So anyway, the song is called Shanghai Kelly. And it's written from the point of view of one of the guys who just woke up and he's cursing Jimmy Kelly. So here we go. Waves roll on and the days drag by and the wind and the sea birds cry. Rain washes down and the night turns grey all I can do is pray. I'll be going to San Francisco in the year of 1949. No money in my pocket, but the mischief on my mind. It was Jimmy Kelly's birthday. A business man of high renown said he'd host a party. He'd avoid it at the town. He said we'd all go drinking. A paddy steamer in the bay with barrels full of whiskey. Wouldn't have to pay for Kelly's spiked the liquor with a jigger full of laudanum, a pint of chloral hydrate, and a shot of opium. Blankets and they dragged us to the door. They sold us to the reefer before she passed the corner gate. Before we all got sober, we were married to a fate. A miles away from all of you, stranded with this rock crew. Now for work for us to do until we reached Peru. We'll put a hand, we'd never say it. All the lines from the deck. Dream of Shanghai Kelly went the rope around his neck. Beat down black guy, hobbled up and up. Shanghai Kelly, you best take care of the booze, a pint of picket special and you're surely bound to lose a year at sea and all I got when they dump me on the docks, a broken heart a broken head, the scurvy and the pox a broken heart, a broken head, the scurvy and the pox Baby 
Jones will steal your bones and send you down to hell. Davy Jones will steal your bones and send you down to hell. Hey! Thanks very much. Shanghai Kelly, it's a true story. If you have the internet, look it up. I assume everyone has the I just can't believe I say that. I'm tired. Give me a break. <laughs> now then, um, you did so well singing on that uh, other song. We're going to get you to sing on this song as well. What we're going to do is we're going to divide you down the middle. We've done this song here before, for those of you that remember. Down the middle. Now then, there's more of you over on this side in the shade. So you guys should win this competition easy. But we'll see what happens. You guys on this side of the house, my left, your right. Over here, you're gonna be the whiskey side. You're gonna sing the part of the chorus that goes, I brought the whiskey. All right, you got that? All right, nods. Hello on this side of the house, over here. You're the underdogs. There's not as many, there's probably half of the amount that over on this side, but it doesn't matter. You're like the Spartans over here. You're like that Sp Spartan 300. However many there were. You're going to sing the part that goes, he brought the light, okay? I brought the whiskey, he brought the light. And the light refers to moonshine, which is illegal whiskey, much cooler than the over-the-counter stuff, right? So let's see which side sings the loudest. And uh, my money's on the light side over here. Whiskey side, what do you think? Yep, told you, see, Pat? Already. Started already. They don't have the internet. Take a shoe off. Yep, you heard that correctly. A shoe. And hold your shoe in the air. Woo! Yeah. Nice smell. Come on, we can do this. It's just a shoe. Here we go. The dogs and the cats, the raccoon chips in the furry huts. and then back and we'll take their shoes, okay? All right, don't do that. Just stand up and use jazz hands. Do you know what you 
I just look surprised. Come on, let's get side. Come on, let's get side. Come on! Well, the possum screamed as loud as the possum could. I said, understood. light side anyway even if they lose but they give you a th severe thrashing tonight enthusiasm that's what it was give us one more chance Steve one more chance one more chance here we go one more set of courses and one more time to dance around now then when we sing dance around dance around everybody has to stand up and dance around just dance on the spot like this Okay, I got dizzy there, dance around, hold on. Are we ready? That's not fair, the trees are in the way. <laughs> trees. 
The trees. Blame the trees. Blame the trees. All right, sit back down. Oh, you already have. Okay. Um, uh, this next song, uh, set of tunes, uh, we've had some good ideas. We've been doing this for uh, 21 years full time. And uh, we want to thank you very much for all the support over the years. And we've had some good ideas and we've had some really bad ones. Okay, here's bad idea number one. We were at a concert in Kansas City, Missouri. And after the show was over, no, 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 no. It's after the con no, Kansas is a great city. And we were, the show was over and, but when we were on stage, we noticed there was one of those mechanical bulls, you know those? So we said, ladies and gentlemen, when the show is over, the whole band will go on the mechanical bull. No, we'd be had a few shots of whiskey and stuff and a few beers. Because the mistake we had made was that we had Mexican for lunch and we'd had Indian for dinner and, and, and whiskey. So it was a really bad idea. So here we go. Let's just say it was very colorful. Colorful, colorful. I mean, international. So here we go, the set of tunes is uh, dedicated to the mechanical bull in Kansas City, Missouri. And the set of tunes is simply called of the mechanical bull.
Thanks very much to Mechanical Bull. On the fiddle over here is Katie Grennan. Katie Grennan! All the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. As ladies and gentlemen, when you're looking for a replacement fiddle player, the first place you look is the hot spot. A for Irish Celtic fiddle player is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, how many people have never seen the band before? Uh, just raise your hand. How many people have never seen the band? Oh, okay. Well, welcome to the family. Thank you, guys. This next song is for you. Now, for the Gaelic Storm veterans, you've heard this song before. And uh, you have probably heard the story. It's not that bad yet. So this song is about a friend of ours called Harvey O'Brien, okay? And Harvey O'Brien married the worst woman ever. Harvey and I went to the same university, all right, back in Ireland. And we, did, we got a degree in uh, economics and business management. And as you can see, it's worked out very well for, for me anyway. And uh, so when we were going to college, he took me aside one day and he says, Murphy, I'm after getting engaged. And I said, what? I said, to who? He goes, Tracy. I said, are you mad? She's horrible. She was a horrible person. But he did. True story. He got married to her. And they were divorced within six months. But during that six months time period, I was walking down Patrick Street in Cork. And I bumped into Harvey. And I saw Harvey. And he's walking down the street like this. He's like. I said, Harvey, it's me, Murph. And he goes, hey, how's it going? I said, are you okay? He goes, oh, man, you're right. It's depressing. She's terrible. I said, come on, I'll buy you a pint. And he goes, no, man, I don't have time. I said, why? He goes, look. And in his hand, he had a bag of escargot, snails. And I said, what are you doing with that? And he goes, well, the French brother-in-law is coming over and we're trying to impress him with the escargot. I said, geez, Harvey, come on, I'll buy you one pint, come on. And he goes, no, man, I don't have time. I have to be home by six o'clock. I said, Harvey, it's 2.17. We have time for one pint and then you can be home, go home and you'll be home, no problem by 6 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, how many people in the audience have gone for the legendary, I'll have one beer and then I'll go home? How many people have done that there? All right. So we wrote a story, a song about Harvey and Tracy and the Escargo. The song is for the newcomers and the song is called, Don't Go For The One. It's a cautionary tale. It's also a children's song. Here we go. Well, my friend Harvey, he married Tracy McCall. By Christ, she was a scary old doll. She had a voice out of hell and a temper to boot. Arms like a navvy and a face like dried fruit. Well, I bumped into Harvey back home last year. Says I to him, do you want to go for a beer? No, my sister's French husband is over, says he. I've been sent to get snails to impress him for tea. I went to the snail shop where she told me to go. I'm a little bit late because business was slow. Explain that to him there. It was a snail shop, business was slow. If I'm not home by six, I'll surely be done. The missus will kill me. This is go for the one, the one, the one. Don't go for the one. Go for the one, for the one, for the one, the one, the one. Don't go for the one. Go for the one, for the one, for the one. Fast, the second to two, three or four followers. Who's a fight? How do you do? Harvey looks at his watch, shrieks out with fright. It was twenty past ten. We've been drinking all night. Cursing my name, he spread across the floor. Clutch of the snails, he ran out the door. I'm a dead man, he said. I'm drunk and I'm late. As he ran down the road and up to the gate, the one, the one, don't go for the one. Go for the one, for the one, for the one, the one, the one, don't go for the one. Go for the one. So we opened the gate. Cause he knew he was in for the dragon's rat But he tripped and he fell Up in the air With the bag with the snails Flying everywhere Hearing the noise She kicks open the door Snails and Harvey Are spread across the floor You're three hours late She streamed as loud as she could What's your excuse This I better be good There you go That's it That's the song Thanks Here's the punchline For the newcomers Here we go True story Harvey looks at the snails and with a confident air, he says, uh, Five more feet, lads, we're nearly there. <laughs> Gaelic Storm, you ready? 
Recently, the whole band, we went to see another band, and uh, this band never stopped talking about their merchandise. Because we got to see other bands, we could learn something, and we learned something that night. Like, stop, oh my god, he never stopped talking about the merchandise. And uh, it was you too, and um... so this is the only merchandise pitch we have, okay? Over there, we made Gaelic Storm license plates, frames. And it simply says, five more feet, lads. And you can use it on the pen and turnpike when you're stuck in a toll booth. It's amazing. So who wants one? I'm going to throw it as far as I can now. Oh, my God, we did this last night in Virginia, and I hit a seven-year-old child in the face. There was blood everywhere. Are you ready? Oh, oh hang on. Ow. Oh, I tore my Achilles heel. Yes. Now that was a merchandise pitch, Pat. Hey! <laughs> that was good. There you go. Yeah. So we, we've, uh, Sir, we've... drop your $10 over here when you're... Uh, That's yeah. right. <laughs> hey, everyone, I know you're sitting down. I wouldn't blame you for sitting down, but could you do us a huge favor, please? For one song, we need to see everyone stand up. Just this one song. All right? What? You don't have to, but you, come on. It's Sunday, come on. It's dancing. Didn't see that. Did you fall down a hole? I fell in that hole. All right, are you all standing up? Yeah? All right, thank you guys. Stretch it in all, come on, stretch. Here we go. All right. Well, I was raised on black and tan. Well, I made Drew and Van the Man. I go on to Mass on Sunday. And then it's back to the pub on Monday. Well, I've got a sister Megan with the catch across tattoo. Tell me about these stories, maybe one of them is true. Oh, where's my father's father? Sisters, cousins, aunties, uncle, barnes, father's brother, cousin from Andy's 
Uncle Barney's father, from his sister's auntie, and a cousin from Kilarney. Church. And uh, we're going to rearrange the furniture, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're going to sing an old song, a sort old sailing song from 1652, something like that. I'm uh, thinking you. Yeah. This is on the Boathouse album. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Boathouse album is all old songs, some of our favourites, old sea shanties, seafaring songs, songs about pirates and stuff. And uh, favorites of ours, we recorded it not too far from her here, right on the Chesapeake Bay, down in Annapolis. And uh, we enjoyed it so much that we decided that, you know, let's just limit this to people that just come to the shows. So you cannot get this on the internet at all. We made sure to keep it off of any streaming sites. It's not on Spotify, it's not on Apple Music, it's not on Amazon. You can scream at Alexa and she will not play this. For you. This is the only merchandise pitch we have. <laughs> but you need to know this because um, the boat has, like I say, limited quantities, and once these have gone, that's it. It disappears forever. We will not put it on the streaming sites. So you got to put it in your library, and it's just for people that come to the shows. All right, you cannot buy it in a store even. So that's it. We know it's between you and us. When we run out, that's, that's it. So here we go, an old sailing song. Yeah. Two. Yep. Two. Whiskey-o, Johnny-o, rise her up from down below. The life of man always was as well began, and whiskey man they pawned me clothes, whiskey gave me a broken nose, and whiskey oh Johnny oh plays you up from down below, whiskey 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 oh up and off this young was good.
Like Paul and Harlan, my first mate say, I treat me crew in a decent way. It's whiskey up and a whiskey down, whiskey all around this town. Whiskey on no Johnny, all the friends are up and down below. Whiskey, 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 yo. Well, up this yard, let's go. Don't back here. Ryan Lacey. Yeah. Playing a cajon. Or as we like to say, the wooden box. It's a Peruvian, right, Ryan? Peruvian drum. <laughs> uh, he, can, he can't Peru that. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, this next song. Hey, how many people? Hello. <laughs> how many people have been to Ireland? How many of you? Really? Wow. It's okay. You're going tomorrow. Who said that? You All guys right. are going to Ireland tomorrow. Where are you flying? Are you flying out of Philly? And where do you fly to? Up to like Boston, then over to Dublin. Is it? Is that it? Okay. You're going to have. A have you ever been there before? Oh my God. You. Okay. So here's my advice to you. Okay. Because after every show, we sign autographs and just say hello. If you guys want to get an autograph or a photo, uh, we'll just do it right here, yeah? And we'll just say hello. Thank you, guys. Right? And so, but people ask, they say two things to me afterwards. Two things. They go, oh, my God, you're tiny. I'm five foot eight. It's not my fault. Played my mom and dad. Go on, go for it. Go for it. So, and then they say, hey, I'm going to Ireland, where should I go? So here's my advice to you, right? Go to some, how long are you guys going for? Eight days? Okay, so spend like a day in Dublin, it's great, right? And uh, go to Cork, and the West, at the West is great too, right? But here's my advice, right? Get a rental car, are you, you're, 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 right, yeah? Is, is it organized? It's, oh, forget everything I'm gonna say, forget. You're on a tour bus. Okay, well you can't do what I'm gonna say. You're going in two weeks. Are you going to drive yourself? Okay, so make sure. It was nice talking to you guys. Over here. <laughs> but if you get a chance on the tour, if you get a chance off the tour, get into the rental car. Make sure it's an automatic. Do not get a stick shift. It's on the wrong side, and the roads are on the wrong side, and then there's these roundabouts everywhere. They're death-defying. Uh, as a matter of fact, 50% of all car accidents in Ireland, this is a true statistic, 50% of all car accidents in Ireland are American tourists within five miles of an airport. That's a true story. So anyway, get into your rental car, turn off the GPS, and get as lost as you possibly can. Right? And you'll come across a great Irish pub, and you'll find the most interesting things. Now, for example, I live in Maryland, right? Maryland. And a couple of weeks ago, my wife and I and the kids were like, let's do something different. So we just drove up to Pennsylvania, right? And we found a place called Dutch Wonderland. <laughs> yeah. We're like, what the hell is that? Let's go there. Never even heard of it before, right? It was we had so much fun. And then we had spent the night at the little steamboat in Fulton. Do you know what I mean? So that's my advice to you. Get as lost as you can. So this next song is about a, an American tourist. He goes over to Ireland. He goes to the touristy spots. And then he finds a pub. And he stays there for two weeks. You gotta love a man with ambition. Or a woman. I don't know. So here we go. The song is called Back to the Pub. And it's a... Uh, what kind of song is this, Steve? Can you tell the audience what kind of song this is? Uh, this is a polka. Anybody polka out there? Does anybody polka. polka? No polkers out there? Yeah, it's a dying art, Polkery. It's very exhausting. That's all you do. That's all you do. It's a Polka. This song's called Back to the Pub. Who takes it away, Katie? You do. <laughs> Quanto 
Church down in Dublin town Straight to the pub and I knocked one down Couldn't deliver and they almost drowned Had to go back to the pub Two more whiskeys, one more jar Somebody called for a taxi car Spent the weekend on the bar And I it up the pub I fuck you while I like to show My every lady that door And rules are so lush and green Prettiest place I've never seen I booked a tour at James's Gate I was worried that I might show up late I sued me so the whiskey stray Never left the pub Girl around for the clicks of more I said that's fine, I'll have two more I Spend the weekend on the floor Corner of the pub I think I let it show I've never seen Please place I've never seen Supposed to kiss the blarney stone That's not for me You're on your own You can tell that castle Pulled my hold up the went back to the pub Just as I was about to go Somebody walking With an old banjo I've never seen this place I've never seen Had to go back to the pub Two more hours till I get back Off to the hotel, then to pack Can't leave out, there's too much crap Stay in the pub I walk you out at the last show But I ain't no way to get out the door I didn't move out so much and green Prettiest place I've never seen Prettiest place I've never seen So here's to the malt and here's to the hop And here's to the drum and here's to the drop And here's to the all and not to stop But when we're in the pub I swear it's said in Murphy's Law, cover point takes time to pour. When you're finished, you'll need one more. And a bag of potato, too. And a bag of potato, too. <laughs> Thanks very much. Back to the pub. All right, here's another uh, pirate song.
As the lens of night go out the light, my heart kneels down to pray. I'm a wretched soul on a private jeep Down and out at sea I'm killing 
Thank you, Charlie, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this next set of tunes, uh, we were over in France in a place called Brittany on the North Coast. The place is absolutely beautiful. And uh, we finished the festival, and when the festival was over, uh, well, we were finished at like around 5 p.m. And uh, the, are you guys, you're familiar with the tall ships? You know the tall ships? Yeah, so they were in the harbor. We went to the top of this hill to overlook the festival. And you leave the tall ships, and then you had the sun setting on the Atlantic Ocean and the English Channel. And the scene was tens of thousands of people, and it was such a beautiful evening. And I was the last person to get to the top of the hill. And Steve says to me, Murphy, watch out there. There's a dead bird. And I was like, what? And there was a little dead finch. And I was like, oh, no. It was so sad. I missed all that beauty. And I was like, poor little dead bird. So there was nothing we could do. We just went... We felt bad for the little bird. So we dedicated this song to the dead bird of Brittany. The set of tunes is called Dead Bird. Featuring Peter Purvis on the tune. Listen.
right then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do you want to, we're gonna, should I tell the story? Tell the story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we were back in Los Angeles before the band went full time and uh, we did a benefit show and we came back to my house and uh, it's Los Angeles, California. It was an old house, just renting it, didn't own it. And there was, there was a fireplace for some reason and it had these old beautiful hard wooden floors. So we pushed all the furniture aside and we had a good old fashioned hoolie, right? And everyone dancing, day, diddly day, diddly day, diddly day, diddly day, backwards and forwards. And we lit the fireplace, even though it was June. Just didn't care. We wanted to make it as traditional as possible. So about two o'clock in the morning, there was a knock at the front door. And I looked through the peephole, and it's the Santa Monica Police Department. And I turn around to the lads, and I go, hey, stop playing. Stop. They didn't stop playing. Diddly day, diddly day. I'm like, lads, stop. And I opened the door, and the two cops... They look in and they see the fireplace and everyone did and the two cops were like, what the hell is going on in here? Los Angeles, right? And I said, we're having a party. And he was, I said, is there a problem? And the cop goes, well, unfortunately, you're making way too much noise. I'm like, really? In a house? I said, we're just playing acoustic instruments. He goes, yeah, the neighbors have complained because I'm really sorry. You're going to have to shut this down. I was like, really? I said, that's, he goes, yeah. I said, all right. I said, well, that's not, not fair, right? And I was there across the room, and uh, I'm like, Pat, you've got to take him seriously. I lived a few blocks away in Santa Monica, and I had a few parties closed down by the Santa Monica Police Department, so I was experienced in these matters. And I knew this. If they have to return multiple times to the same noise complaint, they can confiscate whatever's making the noise. So they can come and they can take your stereo, but in this particular case, it was our instruments. So I'm like, Pat, come on, take it seriously now. Even though, like you said, the quiet acoustic instruments, you know, the acoustic guitar and the bagpipes, like just quiet, whatever could be the matter. But um, he's like, I got this. And he went into the bathroom on the neighbor's side on, of the house that he thought they were the ones that complained. And he went in the bathroom and he closed that little window up there. And I came back out and went, fixed it carry on and we trusted him all right so we just kept on playing and about four o'clock in the morning <laughs> knock at the front door it was 402 to be exact 402 knock at the front door <laughs> diddly diddly like stop jeez i looked at the people same two police officers and i opened the door and I went officers we're really sorry we'll stop this is a true story the two cops go oh no please don't we just finished our shift. We were hoping you guys were still playing. <laughs> so we said, well, come on in then. Two minutes later, both cops on the dance floor, beer in hand. Hey, diddle, 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 diddle. <laughs> so we said, there's a song there somewhere. And we wrote this song. It's called What's the Rumpus? All right. And every time Peter Purvis hits the cymbal, psh, you make a noise. You go, whoa. You remember how happy you were? when Nick Foles pulled off the Philly special. You remember that? You remember that? Like, yes! Finally, somebody beat New England. Yes! So every time he hits the symbol, remember the joy you had in your heart when Nick Foles ran in for the touchdown. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a stand-up song. The song is called What's the Rumpus? Come on, Gaelic Storm, stand up. Come on, come on, come on. It's getting late. It's getting dark. The bullfrogs are coming out. It's time to go home.
Guinness to their limers What came out of my bedroom He was wearing my best pajamas Up in the dancers Doing hot points on the bar Something's running in the kitchen I don't mind up in the car When the whole thing's over Things gonna be held to me Don't say no With his tree, Peter Potts around the Baxter's drunken monkeys drinking Drano, and the guards are in the jacks. People hanging out of my window, pulling down the hall. There's music loud enough to shake the shingles off the wall. When the whole thing's over, there's gonna be hell to pay. Cause when it's upside, upside, upside up, what more can you say? What more can you say? What more can you say? Hey! Da 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 show for us, okay? Yeah. Alright? So when they come to four... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Britta from Pennsylvania. Are you ready? She needs your help. Are you ready, Britta? One! Here, come back. Uh, this time, pretend you're Freddie Mercury. Do you know Freddie Mercury? No. Where are your parents? Look ashamed. Look ashamed. Freddie Mercury is one of the greatest rock stars of all time. All right. This time you're gonna go. Wow. Channel your inner Freddie Mercury, okay? Come back here, small bit, Britta. There's not much room. This time you're gonna run and jump and you're gonna finish the show. You're gonna go. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, Britta needs your help. Everybody together.
second rhythm. Over here. Is that your mother? No. See that one? Go over there. Go over. Run all the way over. Keep going. Keep going. And no, no. And no. Run back. And, and jump as high as you can. Jump as high as you can. and we'll be right here back on stage, all right? God bless you. What is this TV show for? Channel 22, is it live? It's not live? Okay, great. How long is that cable? <laughs> hey, Tim. Is that Tim from Los Angeles? No, different, different Tim, different Tim. All right, everyone, grab your dance partner. This is the last song, and uh, don't forget, uh, we'll just see you here if you guys want to get the autograph. Give it up for Britta one more time. Outstanding. Good girl, Britta. Good girl, and uh, Upper Marion, King of Prussia. Thank you so much. You got your dance partners. Take it away, Lacey. We're going to take it away. Yo.
she loves to like jumping down and go on the wings of me. They pull my hand and stole my coat and sorry. She is handsome, she is pretty, she's the better man. So merchandise there, and we'll be signing autographs this way. All right, give us two minutes. We gotta go pee in the pond. <laughs>